The technical meaning is that such like a guy is called a pious one. So actually, the word pious is not the literal meaning of puttaki. That is the technical meaning. Innal muttakena verile the pious people. Si jannatin they will be in gardens of union in springs. Water springs in paradise. taking joy in the thing which their God has given them in Nahumkanu. Indeed, they were Kabla Salika before this. Mohsinina, they were Mohsinin before this in their world life. In the life of the past world, they were Mohsinin. And as we mentioned the word Ehsan, that Ehsan is from Hosan. Hosan means beauty. Ehsan means to do beauty to someone, to give beauty to someone, to beautify something. You know what I'm saying? That's the meaning of Ehsan. Ahsan yuhsinu Ehsanan, to beautify something. Ahsan yuhsinu Ehsanan, to give beauty to someone. And then technical meaning, to be kind to someone. Aakhizinama atam rabbuhum taking jaye in the thing which they are not, they have given them in whom indeed they were kanu kapla zalika before this. This is the hereafter. So before this, this is, that was the past the world. Kapla zalika before this, mohsinina mohsinina and good doers. They were good doers. Kanu devar kalilam minan le limaya jahun. Kanu kalilam minan le le. Deju kalilam minan le le. Devar kalilam minan le le. A little by night ya jahuna sleeping. They were sleeping a little by night. Kanu kalilam minan le limaya jahun. They were sleeping a little at night. Most of the night. They used to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kano kale lam minan lele maya jahuna they used to sleep but a little at night. Wa bil asharim yastafiruna and in the hours before dawn they were found asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. Yes. In our Close to dawn break, they used to ask Allah, it is tahajjad time. Before dawn break, that is tahajjad time. We are taking sahur at that time. Actually, date time is called the sahara. That time is called sahara. Wabilat haram yasak firuna and in the hours before dawn break. Um yasakfiruna, they were asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. In a hadith, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Yanzilu rabbi tabaraka wa ta'ala fi kulli laylatin fi akhiriha ila samai dunya. That my Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, every night close to dawn break, He comes down to the nearest heaven and He says, هل من مستغفر فأغفر له Is there anyone asking for forgiveness so I may forgive him? هل من فائل فأغطيه سؤاله 
Is there anyone who is begging for something, so I will grant him the same thing he needs? Hal min kaza, hal min kaza, hal min kaza. Is there someone like this, like this, like this? Got it? Wabil asharyam yastafirunayin in the hours before dawn, they were found asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. وَبِي أَمْوَالِهِمْ and in their properties are their wealth حَقْقُمْ there is a due right لِسْتَائِلِ for someone who begs وَالْمَحْرُومِ and for a deprived one يعني they mention a specific portion of their wealth to give it to the beggars and to give it to the deprived people not only zakat zakat is mentioned by Allah سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى Sadaqat al-Fitr, that is mentioned by Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imam Tirmizi narrates the hadith, Inna fil mali la haqqan fi wa zakat. In the wealth of everyone, there are due rights of needy people other than zakat. You know what I'm saying? As you know, that we are paying how many taxes to the government? How many taxes? Yes, sales tax, property tax, income tax. Export tax, import tax, I don't know how many taxes I'm getting. Huh? Excise duty, federal tax, provincial tax. Huh? Yes, everything. So there are, yes, for a Muslim there are so many new rights of others in his wealth. Zakat, Sadaqatul Fitr, charity, giving to masjid, to madrasa, to school, to hospital. To our orphanage, feed the poor, give death to someone naked, arrange medical treatment of someone who cannot afford, yes, the burial expenses of a Muslim, and things like that. All these are the responsibilities of Muslims. So you got it? Munir, you got it? Yes, all of you got it. What we amwalim and in their amwalim will happen. There is a due right. In another ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَفِي أَمْوَالِهِمْ حَقُّمْ مَعْلُومِ لِسْتَائِلِ وَالْمَحْرُومِ حَقُّمْ مَعْلُومِ means a known due right. What? A known due right. So here, the same meaning is meant, even though the word ma'loom is not mentioned here, but that is mentioned somewhere else in Holy Quran. وَفِي أَمْوَالِهِمْ meaning they are belonging, حَقُّمْ there is a due right. لِسْتَائِلِ فَارْبَيْكَرُ وَالْمَحْرُومِينَ فَارْ اَدِ پْرَائِوْدْ وَنْ وَفِي الْعَرْضِ اَنْ آن دِ اَرْتْ آیَاتٌ دِیَرْ آر فَائِنْ وَلِلْمُوْكِنِينَ فَارْ دُوزُ اَوْفَيْتْ بِتْ فَرْتَنْتِينَ اللَّهَ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى Everywhere there are signs through which you can recognize Allah, you can know Allah, you can think about the oneness of Allah, you can think about the creation of Allah, the logic of Allah, the kinship and power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ayla Munawad said, Ke wa fi kul shayin lahu ayatun In everything there is a visible sign. Ta dhullu ala annahu wahidu Which says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is only one. That's how the universal system is running with smoothly. Nothing happened in this space. Yes? Otherwise, there would have been lot of accidents. As for every star, there would have been a different driver. So what do you think on three days? You know what I'm saying? On three days, there are different drivers. How many accidents are taking place every time? A lot of. But there the driver is only one, and that is Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. The driver of the entire world is only one. So that's why everything is running smoothly. And that's why it is called universal. Yes, otherwise it would have been called multiverse. Because the driver is only one, that's why it is just universe. The creator is only one, that's why it is called universe, not multiverse. Professor got it? Yes. What will arrain in the earth I ask on there are signs will move in him for those who believe with certainty in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Every single atom in the creature of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's an obvious proof 
فبونس اللہ لاحق ان کنش کا اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی اینڈ دیٹس وائی سادی سے کہ ہر گیا ہے کہ الزمی رویت وحده لا شریک لا گویت اوی پلان وچ از پراؤٹنگ اوٹ اف دی ارتھ اٹ ایکسپریسز اٹ ایکسپریسز وحده لا شریک لا ہی از دی اونلی ون ہی ڈز ناٹ ہیو اینی پارٹنر ہی از دی اونلی ون ہی ڈز ناٹ ہیو اینی ایسوسیٹ یس وَفِي الْأَرْضِ إِنْ دِأَرْضَ آيَاتٌ دِيَرَارْ سَائِنْ فِي الْمُوْكِينَ فَارْضُوْزُ بَلِيُّ بِالسَّرْتَنْتِينَ أَلَّا سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى وَفِي أَنْفُسِكُمْ إِنْ عَاسُوْ إِنْ يُوَرْ أُونْ سَيْلْزِ If you will think about that, if you will have a research about a single hair of your body, so you will find out, oh, Allah is only one. If you will think about every single force in your body, so you will find out, oh, Allah the Creator, He is only one. Got it? If you will think about the function of your kidney, your liver, your intestine, every single vein and artery in your brain, so you will find out, oh, Allah is the Creator, He is the only one. One of my friends, he was an atheist. He was in it. And look, he went for MD to Russia at that time when communism was going on. And when he was coming back, he had that big beard. And he was a practical Muslim. So I asked him, what happened to you? Oh, the kafir. Yes. I used to call him a kafir. That, oh, the kafir? Yes. What happened to you? He said, you were right, I was wrong. I said, what happened? He said, when we were going through surgery, so every single atom in human body was telling me that I'm dying here. I came to know. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَنُرِهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْأَفَاقِ وفي أنفسهم حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق أو لم يكفي بربك أنه على كل شيء شهيد يا سبحان الله في آية قول القرآن إذا يتعين في الجنة في كل سنجل وضع الله إذا مرك فنريهم آياتنا في الأفاق we will show them our signs in the whole world and they will be making search and research they will find out and they will think about this oh yes hmm Allah is only one. Muhammad is his messenger. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As I told you, that a sick gynecologist. Who? A sick gynecologist. He became Muslim because of one single ayah. Because of one single. Because he thought about that. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَخْلُقُكُمْ فِي بُتُونِ أُمَّهَاتِكُمْ خَلْقًا مِنْ بَعْدِ خَلْقٍ فِي ظُلُمَاتٍ فَلَاسٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that Allah is that one who is developing your bodily structure in the womb of your mother gradually inside the three darknesses. Inside? Three darknesses. Number one, the belly. Number two, the womb. And number three, the membrane. So that sick gynecologist, he says that I was thinking about that. Was Muhammad a gynecologist? How he came to know? How he knew it? So then I came to know that Muhammad was the messenger. He is told all these things by the Creator. By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes? وَفِي الْأَرْضِينَ إِنْ دِعَرْتَ آيَاتٌ دِعَرْ سَائِنْ فِي الْمُوْكِنِينَ وَفِي الْأَرْضِينَ عَنْ دِعَرْتْ آيَاتٌ دِعَرْ آرْسَائِنْ فِي الْمُوْكِنِينَ فَارْضُوزُ بَلِيُّ وِسْتَرْتَنْتِ إِنْ أَلَّا سُبْحَانُ وَتَعَالَى وَفِي أَنْفُسِكُمْ إِنْ إِنْ يُوَرْ أُونْ سَيْلْزْ There are signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His creation, quality of creation. Number two, His Lordship. Number three, His oneness. Number four, His Rububiyyah. That he is the sustainer. He is the provider. وَفِي أَنْفُسِكُمْ إِنْ آسُوْ إِنْ يُوَرْ أُونْ سَلْ أَفَلَا تُسْتِرُونَ بِلْ يُنَاتْ دِنْ فِي أَنْ Look at it. You don't see? You don't have eyes? وَفِي السَّمَاءِ رِسْكُكُمْ إِنْ إِنْ دِي هَيْوِنْ إِنْ يُوَرْ پْرُوِيزَنْ Now look. We are looking our provision in the earth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says your provision is there in the heaven. 
Got it? So now, physically we know that our provision is there in the earth. Where from our food is coming? From the earth. Our drink is coming? From the earth. Our dust is coming? From the earth. Our heat and necessities are coming? From the earth. But the basic source is the heaven and heavenly bodies. The heaven and heavenly bodies. The clouds, the rainfall, the wind, the moonlight, the sunlight, the starlight, that is physically. But actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring to something else. That's the way you are in touch with sources there on the earth. Try to be in touch with the basic source there in the heaven. Got it or not? Yes. Don't put your belief there in material sources and resources. Yes, have a strong belief in the creator of all these sources and the resources who is there on the heaven. Got it? Your provision is there. के करी में के अस्पताल है के बुजुर्ग पलता वो जीप खोरदारी दोस्त आरा को जा पुनी महरूम तू के साथ दुश्मना नजरदारी You are the one who used to provide Pharaoh, Nimrud, Kenan ibn Nimrud, Abu Jahl and Abu Lahab, the Pharaohs of this world and nowadays time. You are providing them a lot. How you will deprive your friend of provision? But if you are friend, they will become truly your friend. That is, you will never deprive them of their food and drink. What is the fire is cooking, and in the heaven there is your provision. What matu gaduna and all that which you have been promised by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. For what is the fire? Then by the Lord of the heaven, what are they and the earth? In the whole of us, this is the truth. The Holy Quran is the truth. For our best of eyes, then I swear by the Lord of the heaven, what are they and the earth? In the whole of us, verily, this Quran is the truth. Amulet, the Quran is the truth. In the whole of us, verily, this Quran is the truth. Mislama Anna Kuntan Se Purna Just As It Is the Truth That You Can Speak. Just As You Can Speak the Truth. For our Rabbi Samae, so I swear by the Lord of the Heaven, what are they and the earth in the whole of us? That this Holy Quran is the truth. Mislama Anna Kuntan Se Purna Just As You Are Speaking the Truth. And you know the truth. That what is truth, which is according to the situation. Expression, according to the situation is called what? Truth. So Allah says everything mentioned there in Holy Quran, that is according to the situation. That's why it is called the truth. Number one. And number two. For our Hafiz Sabae, I fear by the Lord of the heaven, what are they and the earth in the whole Hafiz? That life after death is a reality. That's the fact. That's the truth. For sure it will happen. For sure it will happen. How? When everything is gone, nothing is seen there. Everything has become dust and rust. You know what I'm saying? How? They would be given a new life. How? They will come into existence. Because things are not seen there. Millions and billions of human beings have passed away. They are buried somewhere, or they are burned somewhere. Nothing remains there. How Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala bring them back into existence? Something should be seen, so then you can bring it back to the existence. Nothing is seen there. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "How many words you are speaking every day?" Yes, everybody. How many words he is speaking every day? Millions. How many words? And a person like me, maybe he is more than me, who speaks all day long and all night long. Yes, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, if that is the case of visibility, if that is the case of visibility, so can you see a single word printed there on your tongue? How it comes into existence? You will never deny it. 
you do believe it because that's your experience. Yes, you observe that. You see it. You watch it. You hear it. The same way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings these things into existence once again. Got it? The way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala approached them, they it was known to every single guy. Even a common layman in desert of Mecca, he was very well, uh, Yes, nothing is seen there. Uh, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive and forgive. If you will take my tongue to someone doctor, yes, cut it and take it to a doctor. Then, how many words can you see on this tongue? The guy who speaks on this very tongue, how many words can he speak every day? You say, nothing is real. Nothing is visible. I cannot tell you, because no any print is there. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, how do you bring into existence those many words every day, which are not visible? So they were stuck. The same way I will bring all these disappeared people into existence once again. Now you got it? That was an example to the other level. فَوَرَبِّ السَّمَاءِ وَالْعَرْضِ إِنَّهُ لَحَقٌّ لَيْسَ تَرُوتْ And the fact in reality in Islam أَنَّكُمْ تَتْقُونَ Like that is you are speaking. هَلْ أَتَاكَ حَدِيثُ زَيْفِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ الْمُكْرَبِينَ هَلْ أَتَاكَ Is there come to you? حَدِيثُ زَيْفِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ This story of the guest of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam al-mukramina, the honorable guest. Have you received this story of the honorable guest of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam? Yes. Yes. We have learned it two, three times in this holy Quran. So that's why we say that this hal, even though that's a letter of uh, interrogation, It's a letter of interrogation, but here we call it a letter of tahqeeq or harf tahqeeq, certainly. Hal ataqa in the meaning of qad ataqa. Far fewer there has come to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hadith of Zayf Ibrahim al-Mukramina, the story of the honorable guest of Ibrahim alayhi wa sallam. Is the qadhu alayhi when they came into Ibrahim, faqalu they said, Salaman nusallimu salaman alayka. Peace be upon you. Nusallimu salaman alayka. Yes, nusallimu salaman alayka. Peace be upon you. And that is the greeting of a Muslim to a Muslim. That's the greeting of a Muslim to a Muslim. What? As-salamu alaykum. What? As-salamu alaykum. Not salamu alaykum. Yes, the greeting of a Muslim is As-salamu alaykum. To specify the word salam. And that could be specified by adding what? The al. By adding what? The al. Yes, As-salamu alaykum. The peace must be upon you. Not only peace be upon you. No, the specify it. As-salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum as-salam. Every time in the same to you. Yes, and the same light may be upon you as well. Now this is not only a greeting. You are giving him a surety or assurance that when I said as-salamu alaykum, it means I will not harm you. I will not harm you because I am giving you the assurance. As-salamu alaykum. Let peace be upon you. Yes. Here you said to me, Assalamu alaikum, and the moment you went out, yes, you started speaking, yes, and biting me from your back. Yes. So what was that? Why you said it? Yes. Have I asked you to say to me, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you? Yes, just come and pray and go out. Yes. Because you are doing munafaka. You said here, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. So when the Muslim said to a Muslim, Assalamu alaikum, So he must be uh, a man of his word and tongue that I will never harm you. That's why I say. When I don't like someone, I don't say Salaam Alaikum to him. You know what I'm For example, if I don't like someone, I will never say Salaam Alaikum to him. Yes, I say, oh. yes. yes, I do like that. Yes, oh. yes. Because if, if I will have some opportunity, I will slap him. Because I don't like him. So I cannot do that munafaka. So that's why I say, ah. Nasim, you are a man of such a nature. You are or not? Okay. Okay. 
دخلو علیہ بندے چیم تو ابراہیم علیہ السلام فکالو دیسے سلاما نسلم سلاما علیکم فکالو سلاما نسلم سلاما علیکم نسلم سلاما جس سلاما جس جی مفعول مطلق آپ نسلمو which is hidden here نسلم سلاما we do present to you a perfect peace نسلم سلاما علیکم got it مفعول مطلق as you mention in Arabic language class that مفعول مطلق means perfection that we do present to you a perfect peace from our side فَقَالُوا سَلَامًا قَالَا إِبْرَاهِيم said سَلَامُ on the same perfect سَلَام to you because that is mentioned in their greeting the same was meant in the greeting of Ibrahim قَالَ سَلَامُ on قَوْمُ الْمُنْكَرُونَ and he said you are people unknown to me because they came to Ibrahim عليه الصلاة والسلام in shape of men they were angels but they came in shape of men so Ibrahim said وَعَلَيْكُمُ السَّلَامُ But to me you are not known. To me you are not. But the way you are greeting me, that's a greeting of known people. Greeting of known people. But I don't know you. Yes, as you know that we are known to each other. So the way we are saying salam to each other, you know what I'm saying? So that's a different way. Yes. And to a stranger one, yes. To a stranger I will say, As-salamu alaykum. How are you my brother? So it is okay? Yes. But when one of you will come or Naseem will come, so I will say, Naseem, how do you eat? Yes. That's a different way of salam. Got it? So they say salam in a known way. Ibrahim said, you are not known to me. You know what I'm saying? فَقَالُوا سَلَامَ الْقَالَ سَلَامُ الْقَوْمُ مُنْكَرُونَ You are a people unknown to me. فَرَاغَ إِلَىٰ آلِهِ But anyhow, when your guest comes, he is known to you or not known. Yes, these are human norms. These are human values. That is human character and morality to hospitalize the guest. Maybe he is known to you, are unknown to you. And these things are common in human beings. As long as they are human beings and they have not lost their human values and now, so that is found. Maybe he is a Pashtun, he is a Persian speaking, he is a Punjabi speaking, he is an English speaking, he is an Arabic speaking, he is an Bengali speaking or any other language or any other culture. But that is something which is called Nawami Si Ilahiya. Imam Waliullah calls it Nawamisi Ilahiyya. Yes, secrets of Allah which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put in the nature of human beings. These are elements because this human being is not just like a mud picture that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made a picture. No, we are not pictures, we are human beings. In humans, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put millions of elements. Millions of very valuable elements. And based on that element, human beings are doing what they are doing. But some of them, they are using it, and some other they are abusing it. Some of them, they are using the element, and some of them, they are abusing the element. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the tawfiq to use it, not to abuse it. Yes? Got it? Now hospitality, that is also an element in human nature. So everywhere that is found, you will go to Arab, if they are still human, you will see the same thing. You will go to Sin, you will see the same thing. You will go to Memon, you will see the same thing. You will go to India, you will see the same thing. You will go to Bangladesh, you will see the same thing. You will go to Africa, you will see the same thing. Got it? Yes? So Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam said, to the unknown people, you are not known to me. But anyhow, he went to his house. Faragayla ale, then he turned to his household, Bajaa, Behajlin Samin, and he brought out a roasted cow and baby cow. A roasted baby cow, not a lamb. Yes, he brought them as hospitality was. Not a roasted lamb, but a roasted baby cow. Bajal. 
فراغ الى دي تنتو بھاو سوڑ پجا بحجلن سمینن ان ہی براتن بحجلن سمینن ان روسٹ بیبی کاو فقرب ہوئی لیہم he placed it before them he put it there yes, on the maida on the dining cloth not on the dining table on the dining cloth yes, he placed it in front of them فَقَرَّبَهُ إِلَيْهِمْ but they were angels angels do not know these type of needs and necessities yes, so they were not touching it yes sitting to it فَقَرَّبَهُ إِلَيْهِمْ and he placed it before them قَالَ he said to them أَلَا تَاكُلُونَ will you not eat you do not eat أَلَا تَاكُلُونَ you do not eat فَأَوْجَبَ مِنُمْ خِيبَا and then he conceived a fear of them he conceived he felt a fear of them look that was the culture of that time if somebody has taken food in the house of someone once in lifetime he will never harm that people are the people of that house because I have taken my lunch once in lifetime here I have taken a cup of water there from this house you know what I am saying that was the culture and still that culture is there in our area and everywhere culture people they are doing like no no we say that I have eaten his namak. I have eaten what? His namak. I have, yes, tasted his part. Namak means his part. Even though I have taken one single morsel of food, but I have taken it here. I cannot think about this family in a bad way. Why? Because once in lifetime, I have taken a morsel of food here from this house. So that was the character. Now everything is gone. Characters are gone. Yes, and somebody will see that, he will kill his own brother. He will or not? Yes, just to be honest with you, character is gone. People are doing it. Doing or not? Mahmood, that? Yes, they do it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring humanity back to the human being. Yes, when we will become human, Allah will show his mercy. As long as we are wild, we are not human. We are not animal human. We are wise. We have become wise, killing our own brother for the sake of Jalal. That's humanity. Fa'au jasaminu khifa Ibrahim conceived the fear of them. Oh, maybe now. Maybe they will block themselves now. Maybe they have the jacket. <laughs> That's why they are not eating. <laughs> you know that. Fa'au jasa minu khifa. So then he conceived and faced the fear of them. Ka'alu te said la taqab. Fear not. They said, they said this. They said, Ibrahim, yes, he feels some fear of us. And they felt it. So they said la taqab. Fear not. قَالُوا تَيْسَدْ لَا تَخَفِّيَرْ نَعْرْ وَبَشَّرُوا بِغُلَامِ الْغَلِيمِ And they gave him a great tiding of an intelligent son having knowledge. Intelligent son having knowledge that we have come to you from Allah. We are angels. Oh, you are angels. One shape of man said the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you some happy news that you will be having a son he will be an intelligent one and he will be a man of knowledge or a knowledgeable personality. Because as we mentioned before that Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam until 83 years of age how much? 83 years of age he had no any son and daughter. He was 83 and minus 9 uh, no, he was 86 and minus nine, seventy-seven, his wife, Sarah, she was seventy-seven. Ibrahim was eighty-six. His wife, Sarah, she was seventy-seven. They never had any son. And when 
the Jesus king of Egypt of that time. He gave his niece, who was his adopted daughter as well, to give services to Sarah, to give services to Sarah, and Sarah after Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam a thief and marry her to have a son at least to carry on his business after his death to carry on his mission after his death Ibrahim married that girl Hajar H-A-J-A-R in Arabic and H-A-G-A-R in Old Testament and New Testament Hajar so Hagar or Hajar, she was married by Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. And Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, he got a son from Hajar. And that son was named as Ismail. His story is there that he along with his mother was taken by Ibrahim to the house of Allah and they were left there in desert. They were left here in desert because Makkah was not a village even at that time. Nobody was living here. The only thing here was the house of Allah. People used to come for Hajj and Umrah and go back. Nobody was living here. Got it? Got it or not? Because the city that is built by Qusayy ibn Kila, Makkah is built by whom? By the great great grandfather of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Qusayy ibn Kila. And before Qusayy ibn Kila, the people who were living there even, they were living in tents. There were no houses. And at the time of Hajj, they used to go outside Mecca to the mountain to erect their tents there and to live there. And to live the place for those who are coming for Hajj. Got it? When Qusayy ibn Kila, he got to the control of Mecca and the house of Allah. So he was the first one who recollected and gathered together the people of Quraysh from all around. He allotted them a piece of land to build up their house, but he put a tax on them. He put a tax on the people of Quraysh that you will have that big plot, so you will pay me that much. You will have that big plot, so you will pay me that much. And that money that was spent on Pujjaj Kiram in the time of Hajj by Qusayy ibn Kila. He was giving services, yes, to Pujjaj Kiram, that money which he used to collect from his own tribe, people of Quraysh. Got it? So anyhow, Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam, when he had that only one son Ismail, and he saw a dream, when he was visiting Ismail, so he saw a dream, Ismail at that time was only 13 years of age, a teenager. So he saw in his dream that I have a knife in my hand. I am slaughtering Ismail. Then early in the morning he came to Ismail. Qalaya bunayya inni arat al-manam. Anni azbahu ka panzur maza tara. He said, my son, I find my dream. I was slaughtering you. This is not the dream of a common day man. This is the dream of a messenger. And the dream of a messenger is a type of wahi. It's a revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes it means something else. But sometimes the dream must be taken literally. So Ibrahim took it literally as a wahi. So fanzur maza tara. That's actually an order from Allah. That I may slaughter you. So what do you think? What's your opinion? What is your opinion? Yes, subhanAllah. That was their teenager, Ismail, who was blessed by Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, think about your own teenagers nowadays. If you will ask your teenager son, that Allah has ordered me to slaughter you. Huh? So what do you think? He said that I think that you should go back to Afghanistan or Pakistan and slaughter your old father. Yes, why me? Why you are not going back to slaughter your old father to get rid of him? <laughs> but Ismail alayhi salatu wa salam he said ya abba se fa'al ma tu'umar fatajiduni insha'allahu minas sabirin 
that, oh my days, do whatever you have been ordered by Allah. As far as my case is, is concerned, I will not move even. You will see, I will not move. Satayiduni, insha'Allah, my Sabirin, you will see my stability. You will see my patience. And that's why Allah said, what, Mahmoud Jan? And, uh, Sayyid Khan. And Mullah Khan. And the brother Yusuf. And to a, not to a great extent, to a little bit. Hafsa. Yes. Ke ye beza de nazar paaya ke maktab ki karamat ki. یہ پیزانے نہ سرتایا کہ مکتب کی کرامتی سے کہے کس نے اسماعیل کو آداب پرزندی We are in need of giving a training to our sons and daughters Son, no To your father, you may not speak like this This tone is not good To your mother, daughter, this is not the way Yes But Ismail Yes, he was brought up there alone and alone only his poor mother was there, Sayyidah Hajar. And the same father who left him there never saw him. After 13 years, for the first time he came and he said, I'm going to slaughter you. What do you think? He left him there in desert. For the last 13 years, nobody was there. Nothing. He never sent Jalal back home. Yes. Ibrahim never sent Jalal. Yes. Prish Mahil, Atu Hajar. These are your expenses. He never thought of that. And the moment he came, he said, I signed my dream. That I was flattering you. So what's your opinion? He would have said, Oh, the old guy, I want to kick you out. You came after 13 years for the first time. Now you are going to kill me? You know what I mean? That was the nature of the messenger. That was the nature of the messenger. Ismail, alayhi salatu wa salam. That's why Allah has said, کہ یہ فیضانِ نظر تایا کہ مقصد کی کرامت کی ایک وقت ٹریننگ جیون انہیں مدرسہ اور انہیں سکول اور بھائی یہ ٹیچر نو ایک وقت کونٹی کی بریتنگ آپ اللہ کہ یہ فیضانِ نظر تایا کہ مقصد کی کرامت کی سکائے کس نے اسماعیل کو آداب فرزن دی who taught اسماعیل that a son has to be like this who taught nobody not even Ibrahim taught him. The son has to be like this. Allah put that element in the nature of Ismail. That the son has to be like this. So the father will say, Now, the father will say, No, my son, don't do that. We will marry you a nice girl from our own culture and things. And he say, Who oh, cares? Yes. That's what we do. Say, Yes, don't. Don't have any fear. Not at all. Got it. So anyhow, that happened when Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, even though Ismail was not slaughtered. فَلَمَّا أَسْلَمَا وَتَلَّهُ لِلْجَدِينَ Ibrahim did what he was supposed to do. He was trying to slaughter him. وَنَا لَيْنَاهُ أَنْ يَا إِبْرَاهِيمُ Allah said, we called Ibrahim, تَبْتَرْ تَبْتَرْ هُوَ يَا You did your job. We saw you. We have heard you. That was the test. Whether you are going to do it or not. Because the love of father to his son is exemplary. You know what I am saying? And a teenager, subhanallah, if a single stone will harm him, oh, the father says, let me take him to Kaiser permanently. That's not what I am saying. You know what I am saying? And with Ibrahim, he was trying to slaughter him. So Allah said, Tab 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 ruya, inna kazarika, najjal muhsini, bukadena ho. The rich and azim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we ransom him, we ransom him with a big ziba. So big ziba, a ram was sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he started by Ibrahim. And how big it was? Two tons, three tons, Allah says, a big ram. No rich and azim means a great ram, not a big ram. That was it. A great ram, not a big ram. A big ram, that's in volume, in wave, in hajam. In good, a great range in value, in price, in meaning, in message. Do you know what I'm saying? So what a great name that is. Every year on Eid al how many people are going to slaughter names? 
वन मिलियन टू मिलियन मिलियन एंड मिलियन ऑफ टू फॉलो देर सुनना ऑफ इब्राहिम यू सुनना ऑफ देर वन सिंगल लैंड बिकॉज एक्चुअली देर वॉज नॉट ए लैंड देर वॉज ए सेक्रीफाइस ऑफ एर ओन सन देर वॉज वन तो इब्राहिम अरे सला तो असरा एन ही केम बेर टू द होली लैंड टू द होली लैंड टू अल खली टू अल खली सो हेयर दीज एंजल केम एट दैट टाइम द एज ऑफ इब्राहिम वॉज नाइंटी नाइन एज ऑफ इब्राहिम वॉज नाइंटी नाइन एंड द एज ऑफ सारा वॉज नाइंटी नाउ नाइंटी इयर्स ओल्ड लेडी नाइंटी नाइन ईयर्स ओल्ड मैन एंड एंजल केम यू विल हैव सन नाउ यू विल हैव एनदर सन That's actually a prize for their sacrifice which you have done. Otherwise, you had only one son, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala showed you the dream. Yes, and you were 100% ready to give the sacrifice of their only one son, lone son. So now this is a prize, a second son. Professor, yes. पाओ जसा मेनो के पास हो एक पालो दे सेप्पी न्यूज पे गुलाम इन अली मिल पेन इंटेलिजेंस एन नॉलेजेबल सन इफाक इंटेलिजेंस एन नॉलेबल नॉलेजेबल सन इफाक आई रख पास बना तिमरा तो बेस्वर रहते ओल्ड लेडी शी वॉज इन किचन दे वॉर सिटिंग इन लिविंग रूम एंड द ओल्ड लेडी वॉज यर इन किचन पास बना तिमरा तो बेस्वर रहते दिन हिस वाइफ केम फॉरवर्ड विद एन आउट वाइफ हर्रा हाँ एस बी सेम उर्दू हाय मैं मर गई And when the ladies they hear something strange, they hear so their reaction is like that. Hi, are you sure? Just like this. Fast bala timra to ho, so his wife came forward, pay her attention with a loud voice. His wife came forward with a loud voice. Was what got waja and she smote her face. Now smiting his face, not the no. That that's a woman nature. Here, when something is astonishing, or wonderful, sometimes this is yes. Is her kaju hairani? Is her face kaju hairani? Are you sure? बेबी पाक बल तिमरा सुन हिस वाइफ के पावर थे पर रतन विद लाउडर वाइफ पर बक्कत वजह से मोटर पे वकालत एन सी से अजूज उन हकीम उन डोंट शुड बी लाइक दिस अजूज उन हकीम उन अ वेरन ओल्ड वुमन आदो दे सेट कसाले का यस This is the case. Kalu de sir kabale ka the same way you will have it. The same way you will have it. Kabale ka kabale ki kala rabbo ke de sir he will so save your Lord. Inna hu huwal hakim al halim verily the all wise and the all knower is the all wise. Now Ibrahim was thinking. If they would have come from Allah, Subhanahu Wa Taala, to give me the happy news of my son, so only one angel was more than enough. 
why they are few in number. For happy news, only one angel that was enough. Why they are few in number? You know what I'm saying? So therefore, but what is your actual mission? That's secondary. This happy news is, yes, secondary. Hey, the brother is one, is going to find the real value. Uh, going to find the real And we want to give something to someone on his way. Yes, that you will take an exit from four or five like this, and they are close by there, the brother give it to him. You know what I am saying? So he is not going purposely to that brother, but he is passing by, so he is doing one of our job. You know what I am saying? So Ibrahim said, what is your actual mission? That brother will ask Rizwan, you came only for that, but no, 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 I was going to my house, but he said, take it to that brother. So that's how Ibrahim asked them, but what is your actual mission? Originally you have been sent for. Kala Ibrahim said, Pama Khatbukum. Then for what purpose you have been sent, Ayyuhal Mursaluna, O the Messenger? Makhatbukum, Makhatbukum. What's your proper purpose, proper mission? Kala he said, Pama Khatbukum, what is your purpose of, are your mission, Ayyuhal Mursaluna, O the Messenger? Kalu they said, Illa Ursilna, we have been sent to Illa Kaumim Mujrimin to a people who are criminals. We have been sent by Allah to a people who are criminals. We are going to destroy them. That's our actual mission. We are going here. We have B-52. Yes, and God is listened with us. We are going here. But we were coming to Allah and just go to Ibrahim first and give him this news. Yes. Are you with us or with them? Kalu they said, Illa Ursilna, indeed we have been sent Illa Kaum in Mujrimin. So, should we go there to that area today? To the area of Komilu, the convertible? Yes. Kalu they said, Inna Ursilna, Illa Kaum in Mujrimin, we have been sent. To a people who are criminals, Linusila Dev, Sijara Tamintin, to send down upon them stones of bad the clay. Stones of bad the clay. Linusila Dev, Linusila Dev, to rain down on them. What? Rain down. Linusila Dev, to rain down on them, Sijara Tam stones, Mintin, and a bad clay. Mutawamatan in the Rabbika marked by your Lord. For every single person, one single stone. Try to listen, it will hit that guy even though he is sleeping inside. Yes, it will hit the same window where he is sleeping. Yes, it will never make a mistake. So the first ever guided listen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was sent on whom? People of say, Lord. Mutawamatan in the Rabbika marked by your Lord in Musrifin for Musrifin, Musrif is violator, transgressor. Lil Musrifin for transgressors, for Krajna Mankana Peya, then we brought out from there in Mankana Peya, Minal Mu'minina, those who were there, Minal Mu'minina, from the believers. We brought them out of that area. Because that was the after time when the angels approached Lut alayhi salatu wa salam. That, yes, we know you are very much upset with these guys. Because at that time, the angels, they came in shape of yes, young wife. Yes, with beautiful complexion. Yes, his wife was also a stupid woman. So she went to the people. Oh, there are some handsome people. So they rushed the out of me. Alayhi salatu wa salam. And Ruth alayhi salatu wa salam was well aware of their nature. So Ruth alayhi salatu wa salam came forward and he said, Alayhi salam minkum rajulur rashi. You people do not have one mature person from amongst you. These are my guests. You are coming here to humiliate them. Alayhi salam minkum rajulur rashi. So the angel said to Ruth alayhi salatu wa salam, Why you went here? And he said, These are stupid guys. You know their nature. They have come here, yes, to attack you people. Said, come on, sit down. 
What do you think? They will come close to us. Yes. And one angel, the chief angel, looked at them like this. And the raises went out of his eyes. These people ran away. They said, hurry up. Ya subhanallah, hurry up. Otherwise they are going to kill him. Kill him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tepa harajna pe ha malkan min al mu'minina we brought out from that area those who were from among them the believers. Fama wajatna pe ha we could not find there in that whole area we rabbit min al muslimina but only a single house and single family of Muslims and that was the family of Luz. He was not his whole family. His wife was not a Muslim. She was a pretty woman. Fama wajatna pe ha but we found not there we rabbit in any household of the Muslims Men aware of anything except one, and that was the household of Luz. Wa tarakna peya ayatan, and we have left there a sign, a visible sign. Lil ladina fardos yaqaquna al-ghazab al-alim who fear the painful torment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah said we describe them, but we left behind the visible sign. We left behind. The visible sign that what we do with our enemies and the enemies of our deen and the enemies of our messenger. Prophet sallallahu was asked by Sahaba, وَتَرَكْنَا فِيهَا آيَةً That Allah says we have left behind the symbol and the sign. What are these signs? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-Bahr al the Dead Sea. Number one, وَالْحِجَارَةُ Sauda, The Black Stones. Number two, وَإِنَّ أَرْضَهُمْ لَا تُخْرِجُ مَا أَنْ غَزْبًا in that area, the land and the earth does not do soft drinking water. Number three, wa innaha la tumbitu nabatan, and it does not grow anything. That area, that bunch, that is burnt with those stones. When you will go there, Khalid is not here, Hussain is here. Yes, and when you will go back, Munir, so you should visit that area. You went here, you saw it. You went to Al Bahrul Mayyid? Yes. So Al-Bahr al when he breathed, he lifted up the area like this. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he took a great height. Yes, that the howling of the dog, the howling of the dog, it was heard by the people here in the heaven. And therefrom, he did it like this. Yes, he was doing like this. Upside down. Allah said, Pajahalna, Aadiyaha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, we threw them upside down. Yes, and therefore when he threw them, Ya subhanallah, when these people, they were doing excavation there. And they found out in one place more than 4,000 structures. More than 4,000 human bodies. These were stuck in mud, like you will throw a brick in mud and it's stuck there. Because when you read, he threw them like this. وَجَعَلْنَا عَالِيَهَا سَافِلَهَا and Allah said, وَأَمْتَرْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ حِجَارَةً مِنْ سِجِّيرِ And behind that, we stone them with baked clay. So when you will go there, you will see the Al-Bahr al-Mayyid, Ya Subhanallah. Oh, what a punishment of Allah. And you will see the black stones all the way from Al-Bahr al-Mayyid up to Ruvayshid. Up to what? To Ruvayshid, the boundary, boundary city. Ya Subhanallah. I picked up one stone here from, that I will have it, for example. So, Alam, my friend, he was with me, he said, what are you doing? I said, I will take, take it with me to Pakistan. So he said, give it to me. He threw it outside the car. He said, this is a sign of azab, don't take it. <laughs> it's a sign of azab of Allah, subhanahu ya subhanallah. The area, it has... It has been thrown by Allah to such an extent that you cannot find the that much area empty from stones. Only the area which has been seen by the government for road or for something else. Otherwise the whole area stones like this. Black stone, like charcoal. Like what? Like charcoal. 
वो तारखना पे आया तल्ले देना एंड भी लफ्फिया है तेरे साइन लल्ले दीना पार दो जखा पोना हो फिर अल्लाह का बाबल अली जिपेन पुल्टा में अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह रब्बिल अलामीन वस्सलात वस्सलाम रसूल मुहम्मद वाली वस्ताबे नहीं अल्लाह मर्दों सम्मान रुकवाएंगे मल्लमत के नाम सुखान मार्सिया वाले नामिन वाजे अल्लाह उस वक्त रावत वाले रवाना नहार